Hello everyone, welcome back to Mobang for your book channel. If you are new to this uh, channel, welcome. And uh, I hope everybody is doing okay. So today, at first I was going to convert this uh, hatchback into a car camper, work on it and then just show the result. But one of my uh, good friend, uh, Kura Queen, you can either thank her or hate her for this. But uh, I'm going to divide this up into a different section, more like a series on how you can convert a car into a car camper so you can do traveling without having to stay in a hotel too much or stay on a campground and sleeping in a tent. You know, if you build the vehicle ready to be slept in and you just stop at the camp, and get you know be comfortable so today i'm gonna show you how to remove the seat from this vehicle properly you can pretty much do for every car out there i'm talking about car here only so what you do you uh, remove the passenger seat if you travel by yourself you can remove the passenger seat and make a bed platform for you to sleep on incorporating the rear seat into it so whether you your rear seat can be fold down or not you can still do the same all right but before we get to that i'm going to show you what the possibility can happen without even build anything all right let's get to this So on a typical uh, car, you will have a driver's seat, passenger seat, which I already took out, so ignore that, please. And the rear seat. So if you decide not to, uh, let's say if your rear seat is foldable, fold outable, and you want to sleep without having to remove uh remove this seat at all, you can do that. It might be tight depending on the length of your vehicle, but there is a way you can accomplish that. So what you have to do is every time you want to sleep, you have to set up your bed. Cause this is a short uh, vehicle. So it will, it will be necessary to move the seat all the way forward. So if you move your seat all the way forward, tilt the seat forward also, and look at the space you have here. So I'm gonna show you two possibility for this vehicle. Since the seat does fold out, I'm gonna show you how to uh, have a bat on the road without having to do any modification to the car. See, after you move the seat all the way forward and fold out everything, and check this out. You can actually sleep up to two person back here. But if it's not long enough, what you could do is, see right now I don't have a proper container that will sit properly, but you get the idea. Find a container that will fit into that slot. Or if you have to put some kind of whatever under the, the container that way it give you a, a flat surface from all the way here to the front so that will sleep one person and if the seat is still here you do the same like that push it forward fill up the, the gap right here you can f sleep two person in here look how spacious this is even though it's a small vehicle you don't have to do any modification all you have to do is find two containers that you can put stuff in and fill in that gap so, and then sleep. Put on your mattress or foam, whatever, on top, sleeping bag, and you're good to go. You can sleep two person in here. It will be tight though if you bring uh, a lot of stuff with you. But then again, you can put stuff in the front where the seat is. 
the driver, you can't do, you cannot put anything in here, but on this side, you can probably put stuff here on the seat of the passenger seat. Second option is to move, remove the seat with very few tools. I will show you at the end of this video. I will show you how the process, how I remove this, this seat. And then if you don't want to lower this seat, you can leave it like this and build a platform that will match the height here all the way to the front. And right now, I already pre-measured this about 60 inches from here to there. So, you know, I don't sleep on my back or on my belt. I sleep on my side, and a lot of time I curl up like in the fetal position. So it's fine. Even though I'm 5'8", I will fit from I will fit it from here to there with the 5 feet total, 16 inches, 5 feet. And if you don't want to build a platform, you can do this. This is just for demonstration. This container is not very strong. So find a stronger container that is high enough to match up with the seat, you know? And that will give you a platform here to sleep on without having to build anything. All you have to do is remove the seat. And the third option is fold out the seat. Keep that container in there. For people that are super tall, I think this was even fit over six feet uh, person right here. While it still give you a lounging area over here. See that seat right there? That's your lounging seat over here, sitting over here. So you can have a piece of wood right here, do your cooking, whatever. And if you as handy as I am with a little bit of tool, which I will show you on the next video, how I build a platform that will fit in here. This itself will give me a ton of storage right here, this area. See how, how much, how, how big this area can be under the, the back platform. That will give me storage. So right now I'm sitting in the rear seat behind the driver. See, right now that seat is the set up for my height. And look, I still have room to sit and still. Let me see if I can turn it. All right. Don't get dizzy now. Yeah, I can sit over here. Lounging. This is, I, I usually call this my lounging or living area, right? So meanwhile, my bed is going to be from there to here all the way to the back. And this can be a storage right here. So, so there is no excuse for not converting your car into a car camper so you can travel cheap. That was my whole purpose of creating this channel is get more bang for your bucks. So convert your car into a car camper and go out and travel and have some fun, all right? Stay and watch the how I remove the seat from this car. And I will see you on the next video. Take care now.
Thank you.